Who gives this woman to be married to this man? I do. <laughs> and so the community of your friends have come together to join you and bless you as you commit yourselves in this righteous union. Neither's heel upon the neck of the other neither's head above the other, but both sharing a life as equals. A life that is equal. Excuse well, me. Uh, Jack and I, um, we've already worked out the equality stuff, and we've been waiting a really long time for this day, so maybe could you just move her along? <laughs> All right, then. <laughs> Marriage is not to be entered into unadvisedly or lightly, but reverently. You know, we got that, too. So you have. <laughs> if any person here can show just cause why these two should not lawfully be joined together, then perhaps the two of you would like to deliver your own vows. Yeah, yeah, that'd be great. Thanks. <laughs> wow. We're really here. You know, I, I guess I've always been the kind of guy that uh, takes things seriously sometimes too seriously <laughs> and I've always I've always worried a lot about what was out there ready to pounce and something happened to me Carly I met you and you you were like this this unpredictable ray of sunshine that lit up all the dark corners in my life and I know we're we're different about as different as night and day and it's never easy when two opposing forces come together what was that Johnny Mercer song say? Something's got to give? <laughs> well, you and I, we have both given a lot to make this relationship work. And when it works, it's magic. We're magic. So, I make this promise to you. I promise that not a day will go by that I don't worship and treasure our differences. And not a day will go by that I won't love seeing you out there doing what you do best, dancing on the edge. But I want you to know this, that I will always be there for you with my arms stretched wide, ready to catch you if you ever fall. Not because you need me to, but because you expect me to, but because I don't want to be a part of a world that doesn't have you in it. That is so beautiful. Your love is so beautiful. And I never knew what real love could be like before I met you, my G-man. <laughs> and it's not just your tenderness that makes you so special. You got guts. <laughs> And it takes your kind of guts, Jack, to be with a woman like me. A woman who's reinvented herself more times than Madonna. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, the really crazy part is not only do you put up with it, you actually seem to like it. <laughs> Jack, you are about as close to a perfect human being as I have ever met. And me, well, I'm not just as far in the opposite direction. <laughs> but I want you to remember something. No matter what you hear, no matter what pounces at us from the dark or from the past, I love you. If I could choose one man to trust with my life, to trust with my son's life. If I could choose one man to be my lover, 
And one man to be my very best friend. It would all be you. I choose you. I love you, Jack. And I promise you my heart. Is it time to exchange the rings now? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Uh, repeat after me. We already know it. Oh. <laughs> With this ring, I make you my wife. With this ring, <laughs> you are my husband forever. <laughs> Oh, well, then, as a representative of the higher power that watches over all of us, I, uh, uh, by the power vested in me by the state of Illinois, I pronounce you man and wife. Finally! <laughs> Let's go. Ah, right. Woo! Thank you. Thank you.